and we got on scene, the bulk of the fire was right here. You could see a lot of smoke on this side, but it started to dis dissipate a little bit, and it worked its way over this way, and you can see this building right here. You can see it's still kind of smoldering right now, but that was on fire about 30 minutes ago here in the area. Said the tree did fall into the house, and the two-year-old was inside, and she was shaking up, but she was able to walk out the house on her own. But I can describe what I saw. So the car came up Kingston from this way, and you just see it fly across into the house. Yes, Corey, we just got another weather alert about 15 minutes ago. This makes three that we've received in the last two hours or so. Sam, first I want to show you that crews are still working right now to get this site cleaned up. Coming in with her, she invited us to come with her. That's not possible. Why not? Ms. White asked to speak with me and the board uh, about the videotape. That's what we're going to share. And she invited us to come. Is there a policy or something that says that we can't go in there with her or a law that you can show me? I'm not going to show a law or I say about a policy, but Ms. White, if you want to speak with me, I'll share it with you. Okay, so he can't come in no. even if he stays out? No. But when it comes down to the indictment, a lawyer says at most this is a misdemeanor. Hundreds of people have been here for hours trying to get the attention of Republican lawmakers. Law enforcement opened this scene about over an hour ago, and we're getting a better look at just how much damage there is. You can see we got two cars right here just completely charred out. Now, I talked to one man who saw the aftermath of the scene. Can you uh, tell me what you saw, sir? Paige, we're at the intersection of Lincoln and South 5th Street. You can see the flooding here is still a big problem. Jennings Mayor Gary Johnson tried to stop city council from having an emergency meeting Friday to give former city workers their jobs back. So we're having a meeting. meeting is not canceled. He tried several times. There is no meeting. Yes. The mayor, I have a text there, you. The mayor is not, but we do not have proper recorded secretary for the meeting. But eventually police stepped in. Y'all should ask the police why they didn't protect the city hall. But once the meeting started, things got worse. Um, I must advise the council that the recording device that was in the recorder has just been taken out by the mayor. Even though Mayor Johnson was at City Hall, he didn't participate in the emergency meeting. So how did we get here? Earlier Friday afternoon, the mayor held a press conference to explain why several city employees, like the city clerk, got fired or resigned. Our annual budget is not complete. Our audit is not complete. The mayor said city employees dropped the ball on getting critical work done. The former legal consultant for the city pushed back in a phone call with First Alert 4. It's because of essentially one person and uh, his way of doing things, which, um, you know, we consider to be unethical and, and illegal. The mayor said he and council voted on and approved the firings, but council called the emergency meeting for fear of litigation. The dysfunction picked up again on the inside. And it has turned into a circus. This is, you guys, we are making ourselves look really silly here. Some residents sided with the terminations. So I expect some changes and some uproars, and that's probably why you got the resignations, because, you know, when you do wrong, wrong comes back to you. Others got tired of the fighting. And we have to quit the politics and get back to business. We're four months removed from a heated election. Uh, emotions are still high. The majority of city council voted to allow fired employees to get their jobs back, but one council member said Friday night's meeting was more of a show of support for the people who got fired. Do you think they will come back? Uh, I don't think so. So you're basically saying tonight's meeting was symbolic? For the most part, it was. First Alert 4 caught up with the mayor after the meeting. It looks like you were trying to sabotage tonight's meeting. No, I don't. No, I didn't see that. You didn't see that? Mm -mm. So you saying what I saw didn't happen? What you saw? Yeah. Good talking to you. Anything else you want to add? The mayor talked to me again when the camera stopped rolling. He doubled down that the emergency meeting didn't follow city protocol. In Jennings, Dion Broxton, first alert for. In the door, shoulder in the door, trying to knock the door in, and I'm like, Justin, what is it? What is wrong? This is our first look at Bourbon, Missouri police dash cam footage from fall 2021. That man is who shot and killed Justin King. In January 2022, a jury justified the killing. He bulldogged me, 
on the porch and I hit the ground. This bullshit. This is the first time John King, Justin's father, is seeing this footage outside of a courtroom. If someone was beaten at my door, and, and I wouldn't let him in, okay, so he obviously let Justin in. He was Justin in Justin's home, uh, you know, a few minutes prior. This is footage of Justin and his killer before the shooting. I handed him the f joint. The man admits to giving Justin marijuana before this happened. I heard boom, 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 bang, crash, and he was ripping my the screen door off. This home surveillance shows the two going back and forth. Justin leaves and then goes back inside the house. Here, it's hard to tell when and where the shooting happened. To me, it's, it's murder. And I don't see how he could have gotten shot three times on the inside of his house and then made it outside. Crawford County prosecutors cited the Castle Doctrine in this case, the Missouri law that allows a person to defend themselves in their home, dwelling, or vehicle. It's too many cases of, of white men killing innocent black people because of a castle doctrine. John King says he thought of his son's case when he saw 16-year-old Ralph Yall was shot in Kansas City after apparently knocking on the wrong door. When the case goes to trial, the castle doctrine will likely play a big role according to experts. I have no duty to retreat prior to using self-defense. TJ Mathis is a St. Louis area attorney. You have any, you ever have a case dealing with the castle doctrine? Yeah, I have a lot of them. Mathis says the circumstances leading to force plays a big role in court. That individual who the force is used against, their conduct prior to and during when the force is used. It appears Justin and Yarl's conduct were different, but John King believes both were not threats. Justin was in pajamas, bottoms, no shoes. Dion Broxton, News 4. Andrew Lester, the